Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And although you don't need this anymore for most of the usage that people do, because browsers open PDF, some of you might still have Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat Reader, or you might have the actually original Adobe Acrobat, which lets you create PDFs. Uh, well, if you are one of those users, Adobe is telling everyone that it's extremely important to update the software because there is a zero day exploited in the wall. Already hackers are creating malformed PDFs that once you actually click on it to open it, create a condition where the software will crash. And of course, this will enable the possibility to inject malware into devices. And so it's extremely important that if you have Adobe Acrobat Reader or Adobe Reader on your system, that you download the latest version. I will actually uh, share this link to this page. If you don't know how to update your reader, usually it does it automatically, but it might not in some cases, or if you, if you don't really know, I'll actually share this link. You just click the download the Corobat reader here if you um, don't know how to update your reader. Keep in mind that a PDF viewer is not needed in Windows um, and in most cases because PDFs are now um, open automatically within your browser for the most part. And if you have a touch device in Windows, it's even better you can actually sign your PDFs using simply the touch feature and the PDF feature in Edge, for example. So make sure that you update. Uh, Adobe is really saying this is critical right now, and it's extremely important to have up-to-date Adobe readers and Adobe Acrobat if you're a creator of PDFs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.